With this new pack from Filmstock, you can cast spells just like you were in Harry Potter. Hello all you muggles, welcome to the Filmstock YouTube channel. We are Chris and Christina and we are here to help you make better videos and of course empower your inner video creator. Muggle or not, with this new pack from Filmstock we can all cast our own spells. So there are quite a few variations of this spell. You can get as creative as you want with it as always and we're going to show you how to create the effect using motion tracking in Filmora 11. And before we jump into the tutorial, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future video tips. Okay, so let's jump into Filmora 11 and create some spells. So to get your hands on some of these spells, all you need is the Magic Spells Pack from Filmstock. So you can find that on the Filmstock website or you can just click the link in the description. And once you've downloaded the pack, then we will jump into our Filmora video editor. So you will find all of these magical spells in the elements section under the magic spells pack. And you can see that there are lots of different ones to choose from and they come in a variety of colours. So to get started with this one, all you have to do first is add your own clips to the timeline. Then you can decide which spell you would like to add to your clip. Drag that spell clip onto the timeline above your clip. And you can see with these spells that they already have the animation included. So all you'd have to do is resize and reshape this one to fit your clip. And for some clips that's actually all you need to do, you just need to reshape and resize so it fits perfectly to your footage. But if you have some footage where some things are moving, we might need to try something different. So there are two ways that you can add these spells to your moving clips. If the movement is very clear and there is some clear contrast between your subjects, then motion tracking will probably work well. All you have to do is resize that spell, place it where you would like, and then click on the motion tracking settings. Reshape the tracking box and press start tracking to track your movement. Once the movement is tracked, all you have to do is click the correct spell from the drop down menu. And when you do that, the spell should follow exactly the movement of the thing that you tracked. If this doesn't work right away, and sometimes it might not, sometimes the wands are a little bit too small to track the movement, so there is something else that we can do. And all you have to do is track the movement using keyframes instead. So on your timeline, find the keyframes button. And all you have to do is go through each frame of the clip, adding keyframes when necessary. And this is a way of manually tracking the spell to the movement. And this is also a great way to get it a little bit more precise. And that's all it really is to it. Add some music and some sound effects to really bring it to life. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to do that. You are now officially a wizard. Congratulations. So play around with it, get creative. The links for both the pack and Philomore 11 are in the description below. As always, if you have any questions, do let us know, but keep creating and we will see you in the next one.